For uh, Ron Paul, getting out the vote uh, for tonight's caucuses is a family affair. And uh, joining us now, his son, Rand Paul, Senator, Junior Senator uh, from Kentucky. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Glad to be here. Well, I just heard a voter uh, there say uh, Iowa is ready for Ron Paul. But, you know, when I hear the remarks around the country, is, is America ready for Ron Paul? Because there's no question your dad is not in the mainstream of the Republican Party. Well, I think that's a matter of opinion. I think the interesting thing about it is, is when you just choose a commander in chief, someone who's going to be in charge of our nuclear arsenal, I think you want someone who is reasonable, someone who wouldn't be really happy to bomb other countries. Most of the rest of the nuclear, uh, rest of the Republican field seems to little be a little bit over eager to use nuclear weapons and to bomb other countries. So I think there, is, there are people within the Republican Party and definitely many independents who are saying, well, gosh, we want someone with a little more wisdom and a little more reluctance to go to war. Well, and, and you bring up the point about uh, being commander-in-chief. Let me just read you what uh, Iowa Congressman Steve King recently said of your father. He said, I don't think the Paul supporters have really stepped back and thought about what would happen if Ron Paul were operating out of the Oval Office and the commander-in-chief of our armed forces. Uh, I mean, you know, he has said that he wants to bring home our troops from Japan. He said he wants to bring home the troops from uh, South Korea. Uh, I guess after 60 years, do we not think that the Japanese can afford to support their own national defense now, that the South Koreans, who are doing quite well economically, could not afford to uh, finance their own defense? So I think there are a lot of people who agree with that. I think it's a very mainstream position, and in fact, it's a growing position. If you went around with us yesterday in Iowa, I'll bet you we had the biggest crowds of any presidential candidate. We had 600 here in Des Moines. I went to the headquarters last night, 250 young people between the ages of 20 and 30 making phone calls last night. The place was packed to the rafters with young people. Senator, let me just follow on that. Your, your father talks a lot about personal liberty. That is the centerpiece of his campaign. He's very libertarian. That means, in terms of issues, he is for legalizing drugs, including heroin and cocaine. He's for legalizing prostitution. He is for Actually, I've never pulling ever, most of I've our... never ever heard him give a speech campaigning on any of those issues. But so he really, does support I would say, those things. And well, he, I don't he think wants to pull troops out of Afghanistan, it, South Korea. I don't Korea. think it characterizes who he is. If you go and listen to his campaign stump speech, he's someone who's concerned about the debt, and he thinks that we can only fix our debt problem if you address our military spending and our domestic spending. But you don't, I've never heard him ever use the word prostitution, much less campaign on it. Uh, you so talk that's about, not a fair characterization okay. of who Ron Paul is. You, you talk about fiscal discipline. Yesterday, he called Rick Santorum, who is surging in this contest, a liberal. What? If Rick Santorum is a liberal, what is Mitt Romney? Well, what I would say is Santorum on social issues is very conservative. On economic issues like foreign aid, he's voted for foreign aid repeatedly. He voted to double the size of the Department of Education. Old school Reagan Republicans don't believe in the Department of Education. Rick Santorum well, voted to Mitt double Romney, the then? size well, of the Department of Romney, Education. Then? I would say that, you know, he supported the linchpin of Obamacare, the individual mandate, and he supported the bank bailouts. So all of these things wrapped together don't make Romney a real right. good opponent for Obama either. All, all right. right. Well, Senator Paul, we sure thank you for uh, coming by this morning. Thank you.